37th story from the gateless gate from the book Zen Flesh Zen Bones written by Paul Ribs a buffalo passes through the enclosure Gosu said when a buffalo goes out of his enclosure to the edge of the abyss his horns and his head and his hooves all pass through but why can't the tail also pass <laughs> it's like the zen story the after 12 years with the master the student goes and makes a fight with the master and says 12 years you have not taught me anything i was cleaning the your house cooking food for you washing your clothes taking care of the wife and the children and all the guests is coming and keep on taking care of them you keep on talking to them you keep on teaching them a lot of philosophy but not even once you taught me anything master said never mind come <laughs> climb the tree the when you entered the ashram when you entered this monastery i asked you to plant one plant that has become a huge big tree now standing tall sturdy <laughs> have you seen the growth were you conscious of the growth beautiful tree with a lot of flowers and a lot of fruits and lot of birds coming and sitting on the top and enjoying and the wind which comes because of the tree the rain comes because of the tree did i teach him anything he kept on growing with flowering come on forget about it come climb the tree today you are going to leave my monastery this is the last test what has got my climbing do to with the with the philosophy i came to learn from you master said never mind shut your bloody mouth <laughs> climb the tree and he climbed the started climbing the tree and he were reached the top he turned around and said master he thought no no the master will say come down that the master said climb a little more higher he reached to the edge then the wind started coming it started moving from right to left he started shivering he asked master master said now leave both the hands he said what he said leave both the hands and both the legs and climb one more step ahead <laughs> that is become a greatest cone the japanese zen philosophy which nobody could solve it out <laughs> that means you are clinging to your master to your father and mother with both legs and both the hands now leave both the legs both the hands take your own step ahead using your own brain